Hello, once again, programmers. This is 19 Cups of Java bringing you game um, game programming tutorials, and I'm showing you how to make a breakout. Um, we're gonna go. I'm actually gonna show you what I've been doing for like the last few days. I'm sorry I didn't post a video last Friday, but I was busy with college. But I'm finally done with my Asteroids game, so I wanted to show you real quick. Which actually, I still need to take off those blue rectangles, but. It's actually finally done. I don't have to worry about it anymore, and I can pay attention more to you guys now. So, all right, let's get down to it. What we're gonna do today is actually make the ball like painted on the screen. Oh my god, this sounds so amazing, doesn't it? Well, first, what we're gonna need is we're gonna need to make a new package. What I'm gonna do is put game game dot objects and then finish that's our new package make a new class and we're just gonna call it ball alright we got our new class here get rid of this you're not gonna need that we're not gonna need the main method um alright so what we're gonna need is we're gonna need its location which it's going to be two int variables, x and y. So let's just put those as fields. And then uh, we could do color, but eh. yeah, let's just do color, I guess. Private color. Because if we want to uh, make it a different color in the future, we can. So private color, ball color. And uh, I think that's good. That's all we're going to need for now. I'm going to do moving the ball next tutorial. So let's do public. Oop, sorry. Public ball. And we're going to need the location. So int location x location y and color ball color no well, let's, let's just do bc for ball color now let's set those variables to these so location x y equals location y and ball color equals BC alright now the only other method which actually no we'll just get all the methods done so we're gonna need public void move this is gonna move the ball but we'll mess with that next tutorial and then uh, the one we're gonna deal with this time is public void paint this is how we're gonna paint the ball onto the screen and we need a parameter and it's going to be graphics G so and what we're going to do is we're gonna make a new thing in here called graphics 2d G 2d for the name and you're going to cast it as a graphics 2D. And then put G there. So we're casting G as a graphics 2D object. Ah. Import it. There we go. And what we're going to do is just put G 2D dot draw. Oh, actually, no, it would be fill. Actually, first off, we're going to set the color. Set color equal to ball color. And then uh, g2d dot draw, or actually, let's put fill oval. And now that I think about it, we're going to need two. Actually, a sphere is always the same area, so let's just put area. And area is always going to be... Uh, Let's do like 20 pixels, so um, area equals 20. 
So now we're going to put x, y, and then area for both of these. All right. And now we, this is pretty much done. That's all we're going to do today. And then we're going to paint it on the screen. So in our, I hope we have a paint method. And of course we don't. All right, well, let's make that real quick. Um, we're going to need to put, is this a J panel? And of course it's not. All right. Well, we got a lot to do then. I thought we only had a little bit. Um, J panel. J panel. Import J panel. Uh, let's do this dot set preferred size. Um, new dimension. And let's do 300 by 300 right now. All right, new dimension, import that. Um, now let's just, um, actually we don't even have a container. Crap, uh, private container C. And then let's put C equals game screen dot get content pane all right and then let's add the um j panel to it oh hold on i thought i did oh sorry um all right now c dot add add this and we're talking about the J panel that that this class is and basically what we're gonna do is repaint and then basically what that does oh sorry it's a method so now we're gonna have to create it which is public void paint component takes a graphics G and then basically do super dot paint component and just put none in there or put G in there I think yeah there all right there we go now what we're going to do is we're actually going to call ball.paint, which we haven't created the ball yet, so let me go do that. Um, private ball ball. There we go. Import ball. And then let's make our ball. Um, ball equals new ball. And let's just put it in the middle of the screen. So, I don't know, around 150, 150. And then the color, let's put color dot, I don't know, red for now. We'll change that later. Um, all right, then that should be good to go. There. All right, let's see if it worked. There we go. We got our ball. Well, that's it for this tutorial. Um, next tutorial, we're actually going to get the ball moving. I'm probably just going to change the code back here to a different color, or over here to a different color. But um, other than that, next tutorial, we're going to get the ball moving and hopefully get our bar up the next time. And uh, we'll take it from there. So. See you again. Um, see you next time, programmers. This has been 19 Cups of Java. Subscribe, comment, and like my videos. See you next time.